Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about basic polynomial operations. We're going to simplify each expression. So, if I was given this expression, 13m to the fourth plus 2 plus, now that we're going m to the fourth n squared plus 2 minus 2m to the fourth minus negative 13 m squared n to the third plus 5 m to the fourth. Kind of a large, <laughs> large polynomial here, okay? So what I want to do is, first thing as I look within each parenthesis, hey, is there a way I could simplify this? Well, I don't see anything, any like terms within each parenthesis. So my next step is I actually like to distribute uh, this subtraction sign to get everything positive and then we kind of get rid of all the parentheses. So let's do that. We have 13m to the fourth plus 2 plus m to the fourth n squared plus 2 minus, right? Um, and let's make this a plus a negative actually. I like doing that. Plus a negative 2m to the fourth. Now we're going to distribute this subtraction sign to both parts here. So distribute this subtraction sign. Negative and a negative make a positive. So we have a positive 13m squared n to the third, and we distribute the next negative sign over, and we have plus a negative here, plus a negative 5m to the fourth. Okay. So the way I'm going to organize this, um, and it's really up to you how you want to do it, and in the order here, um, <clears throat> let's go put the, the ones that have the uh, fourth m to the fourth power and n squared, okay? So let's put those first, all right? Let's go dealing with the highest you know, degrees together, combined in a sense. So do I see anything else that has m to the fourth n squared? I don't see anything. So I'm gonna mark it, knowing that I'm using it and putting it here first. So I simplified this part already now all the way as much as I can, this first part here, right? So the next one is like, okay, what's the next thing we're gonna do? Well, the next combinations that I see are just the m squared n to the third, okay? So I see that combination. I don't see anything else here that has this combination, this light term in a sense. So I'm going to mark it. I'm going to put it right here. I have 13 m squared n to the third, okay? I guess I can do it like this, right? n to the third. There we go, okay? Then from there, okay, I mark that. Let's go to the next one down the line. Next thing I see, I see a lot with the fourth power. So I'm just rearranging here. I'm not necessarily simplifying together. So let's go bring this one down, plus 13m to the fourth. Got that one. Okay, for a little dot showing, I brought it down. Next one I see is this one, right? Plus a negative 2m to the fourth. Got that down. And then the last one here, the negative uh, 5m to the fourth. So plus a negative 5m to the fourth brought that down, okay? Next thing I'm for, uh, not forgetting, but I need to uh, bring down are my constants. The last two ones are the twos right here. So we have one, two, bringing that down, and plus another two, bringing that down. And I definitely recommend taking your time with this, okay? Putting your dots where they need to be and slowing down, okay? Make sure everything comes down. Uh, doesn't matter how fast you do an answer, if it's wrong, it's wrong, right? So you need to, you know, understand how to take your time through it, right? So now let's go simplify. Well, luckily the first parts here have no like terms. So I'm going to bring that down just 4n squared plus 13m squared n to the third, okay? But now I have three terms that have m to the fourth power, so we need to combine them, all right? So 13 minus or plus a negative 2m is a uh, positive 11, all right, m to the fourth, right? And then we subtract a 5, right, plus a negative 5 there, so we have 6. So we have plus a 6m to the fourth. That's left over when combining these three. And then, lastly, we have 2 plus 2 is 4, right? So now we have our final answer, our simplest form. Take my time circling it. And there we have m to the fourth n squared plus 13m squared n to the third plus 6m to the fourth plus 4. So as a quick recap here, we're given our problem 13m to the fourth plus 2 in one parenthesis plus m to the fourth n squared plus
plus 2 minus 2m to the fourth, the one parenthesis, then subtract the last parenthesis of negative 13m squared m to the third plus 5m to the fourth power. Within each parenthesis, I quickly looked to see if I could simplify. Could it? No like terms within it. I then distributed the subtraction sign across this last one here and kind of got rid of all my parentheses. It made it all an addition problem. So all my subtractions became plus and negative. Then I rearranged it to have my highest degrees first. Okay, in the next row here, using my dot method to make sure I brought every term down. Then I simplified combined my like terms to get, again, our final answer of m to the fourth n squared plus 13m squared n to the third plus 6m to the fourth plus 